Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with another video. Today I want to talk about my absolute favorite piece of gear that I wear almost every time I ride a dirt bike. And by almost, I mean down to like 99%. The only time I don't wear this thing is when I'm racing. And I've actually even worn it racing before uh, when I was actually racing the Hard Enduro up in Idaho and a couple big races where I'm way out in the weeds and I need to carry a bunch of stuff. It is the Wolf Pack Vest. These things are the absolute best. Uh, let me give you a little background. Um, I started off riding dirt bikes and I started with the fanny pack because that's what my buddy Fritz said to do because he was a six days guy and that's what they all did. And it was great. Had a fanny pack, it was really nice. I actually had a really cool one that was uh, sewn specifically for a US ISDE team that he sewed a few extras and sold uh, to help support the team. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, made by a guy named uh, Dan Schuster in Gunnison, uh, dirtbikebags.com. I think he still makes them. I don't know. Anyway, it's awesome. Uh, and it was great. I loved it. And then I was like, man, that thing weighs down on my hips. I don't really like it, it kind of bounces around. I'm a little bit fat, so it doesn't fit that great. So. Uh, I was like, ah, I got to try something else. So I put backpacks on. I wore um, camelback style things. I wore different versions of that. Anyway, it was fine. I did pretty well. Uh, carried water. It was awesome. Uh, but, you know, it was kind of beating up on my shoulders. I didn't really like it that much. And then the game changer was the OGO flight vest. Everybody that I knew was buying them. I bought one. I loved it. Absolutely amazing. It was a game changer for sure. Like... I could carry everything I needed. It didn't like weigh me down like a backpack. It didn't pull my pants down like a fanny pack. Uh, it was just really, really good. And I ran that for a long time. Uh, then Answer came out with another vest. I was like, oh, let's try that. And the OGO flight vest was, uh, was great. I had no problems with it, but I was like, oh, I'll try something new. So I tried the Answer vest. It was good, but their zippers were absolute junk. They were absolutely horrible. They all failed. I sold a ton of them and every zipper failed. I felt really bad for my customers. I kept uh, Tucker Rocky at the time. They'd replace the thing like no, no questions asked They'd just send us new vests, but it was like, they just kept breaking. Like you couldn't even make a whole ride without a zipper breaking. So, uh, I looked at the climb one and then the wolf one came out this one specifically, this is the gen one. You can see it was built by answer at the time. They were tied in with Answer, which is also Takaraki at the time. They came out. I bought one. I absolutely fell in love with the thing. Uh, one thing I love about it, it's kind of a military style pack. So you've got the pack back here uh, that holds lots of things, whatever. Then you got these side pouches that come around here in front of you. And the nice thing is this is just, that's all there is in front of you. There's nothing blocking air other than those two straps. So they breathe really well, but you can still carry stuff up front up here uh, and get to it easily. Obviously carries water. Uh, it was great. Um, that specific one I wore literally hundreds of hours. I mean, for a very long time, I wore that vest. Uh, and then uh, answer failed slash Tucker Rocky. It's a long story, but Tucker Rocky had a lot of problems, a lot of bankruptcy, a lot of getting sold. In fact, Spoiler alert, they're out of business again. They've sold to a company called Turn 14. So I don't know what's going to happen with Pro Taper and all their brands, Bike Master, all that, but they're basically gone for now. Uh, they might be back someday. That was all going on. So Answer kind of went away. Wolf was like, crap, we need to be able to make these things. So they came up with the Gen 2 pack all on their own. And that is this one. Uh, it is basically the same, except this is bigger which allows you to get the water uh, bladder in and out a lot easier than with this one if you guys want to check out my video i'll try to remember to put a card up here but you can also just type in highland cycles all one word and then wlf and it will come up all my different reviews on the vis will come up and it was awesome right the gen 2 was amazing because it opened up, made the, the one flaw the thing had was it wasn't quite big enough to put um, the water bladder in and out. You had to kind of pull stuff out, put the water bladder in, put stuff back in. Uh, it originally just came with this one pouch, which honestly was plenty uh, to hold most of what I needed. Uh, but it also couldn't quite hold a jacket and you had to strap jackets on. It was fine, but it was, you know, whatever. I guess it was a little bit limiting 
uh, with just the one uh, pouch. Same side pouch as they did, put uh, the Velcro here so you can put patches on it now, uh, put more Velcro up here um, and here. And I'll talk about this here in just a second. But so it was a nice upgrade. This vest has been through, again, hundreds of hours of riding, rain, crashes. <laughs> Just an absolute beatdown. I've actually washed that thing quite a few times. I know it doesn't look like it, but I've washed it a bunch of times. The zippers all still work on all of these packs. All of these packs, the zippers still work, guys. Um, and that's saying something. Most things that get beat on, like these things get beat on, the zippers eventually fail. These zippers have not failed. I can't believe it. They're incredible. I will say, though, the one thing that has failed uh, on all of them, actually, is this snap. You see the snap is gone, it's stuck on there. That was just to hold the water hose um, and it always got kind of hard and whatever again, it's beat on, whatever. But that has actually failed on all of them. <laughs> but uh, that's the only thing that has ever failed on one of these packs and that is saying something. So then I reached out to Luke at Wolf Enduro. I actually got to meet the guys and ride with them up in uh, Utah, it was super cool. I reached out to Luke, I said, man, can I get another pack because I want to set one up just for filming? He's like, yeah, man, no worries. So he sent me another pack and this is cool. The thing that I love about these packs is the molly straps. They got all these molly straps. You can see them go around. And so what I did is I went online to Amazon and I found this molly backpack, right? To hold my drone. So this will hold my whole drone in its foam case. You like to, it's a Skydio drone, it goes in there, protects the thing, you can crash on it. I have, <laughs> and it works great. Also has, still has a kind of butt pocket for tools. Uh, and so it, it opened that thing up and to make it really great for filming. I can put extra batteries, all the good stuff. So that's kind of my filming vest. And again, you can see it's been through hell and back with me and it's been perfect. Um, then the boys at Wolf did it again. And now this is not a Gen 3, but they came out with an even sexier colored vest. Now, some people don't like the copper color. I friggin' love it. So I had to reach out and say, Luke, please, 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 can I get another vest? <laughs> even though these are all still serviceable. My kid wears this one. I actually have another one of these um, tan ones, Gen 1s that my other boy wears. So, uh, so those two Gen 1s still in service. The Gen 2s, still in service, still working just fine. But I just wanted a new shiny one <laughs> with a new color. So they've just come out with this. They're back in stock, guys. Uh, this is what they look like, uh, bone, bone stock. So nice big pocket, molly straps out here. Pull this down and pull it over here so you guys can see. So I have put my water bladder in there and then we got a pocket here. Then we got this zips open, more pockets there. This thing is like a, its own tool roll. These are for if you want to take these off, but those, I don't know. Thank you guys for these, but I don't use them. Um, so this is like a tool roll. You can stuff tools in there. It's got another zip pocket in there. It's absolutely burly. You can see I've crashed and fallen down in the rocks, whatever. These things have held up honestly better than my motorcycle. Like this. They're incredible, absolutely incredible. And some of you guys wanted to see how I have mine set up. So I'm gonna grab this one and bring it over to the bench and show you what I got in it. All right. So here's how I have my wolf vest set up. Show you what's up here in the top pocket. So this, by the way, this is the original bottom pocket from the filming one. So I took it off and put it on here so I'd have two. Uh, I got some trash, that's nice. Got spark plug wrench i got this dude uh which is super cool because it's a how's this go there you go it's a uh it's an axle wrench it's 27 32 which means that it doesn't fit my 30 millimeter new bike i could probably round it off and get it off but i'm gonna need to get a new one of these for the new bike but these are cool it's enduro engineering you guys can buy these on rocky mountain uh, I don't think Rocky Mountain has the vest. So you guys got to go to WLFenduro.com to buy one of these. I don't have a link. Um, they get to make all the money because they're awesome. They have helped me out. They've given me these things. I've bought lots of these things uh, for customers. Uh, I used to, 
used to stock them, but there's not enough margin on either side. So I just rather let uh, the wolf guys make their money. So, but this, this you can buy on Rocky Mountain. Same with this. Uh, I got my um, hose for my Takamoto uh, fuel relocation kit. Uh, my Toei strap. Got my medical uh, first aid stuff. Saved Woody's life with this thing. <laughs> um, honestly, I, this is awesome. It's the, what is this thing? There you go. Ultralight Watertight Medical Kit.7 uh, from Adventure Medical Kits. Uh, that's available at Rocky Mountain. Again, I have to jump in here and say massive thank you to Rocky Mountain ATV. Sorry, Wolf Guys, this is all about you. But the Rocky Mountain guys are awesome, and they sell all the stuff to fill this thing up. So that's all that's up there. I could put more stuff in there. Probably will. I need to actually, I've made a list. There's some more stuff I need to install. And I'm going to leave this out because I am going to swap it over and put my sexy new one. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, I might hang this one on the walls like, for a museum. It's so incredible. Uh, so down here, tool roll. Uh, my KTM tools, torques, and stuff like that. Got a whole bunch of zip ties. Uh, in this pocket, I've got extra brake tips, uh, extra axle nuts. Although that does not fit the current bike. That fits my other bike. Uh, axle block also fits my other bike. Safety wire, perch things, because I run those flags. These would fix that if I broke it. I got this uh, rescue tape stuff and a bunch of bolts in there. Now, up top, got our water bladder. I like this water bladder. I don't know who makes it. It's a uh, rooter, neuter, I don't know, but it's good. It's three liters or whatever. I don't think I have anything else up top. I have to make sure. Oh, no, there is something. Aha, there's my inReach. <laughs> Need to find that. I charge that thing up. I usually clip it to the outside so it gets good service, but sometimes I just worry about it. Then in this upper pocket, got my waterproof fire starting stuff. Got a Kate's bar. Got some a mash link, some epoxy putty, and spark plugs, I think. Oh, a spark plug. What number is that? BRADG. That would get just about anybody out of anywhere with a two stroke. There we go. Now, I think that's all there. Now, this pocket, Wolf Guys, start putting this pocket back on the thing. It used to, the original vest came with this pocket and it came, it rode kind of up here. Uh, I think it was originally for a, a radio or something like that, but. I use it, I love it, because it holds, uh, currently, it's got bar oil, not gonna think of it. currently it's got bar oil in it for cutting uh, trees, but I also run my uh, uh, two-stroke oil when I need to carry two-stroke oil for a big ride. So, both guys, if you want to start selling those things again, they're awesome. Uh, then in my right side pocket, this is a pocket I use all the time, every day, got a Gerber multi-tool I found at the Shady Burrow, if that's yours. Let me know, I'll give it back to you. Uh, I got my bitchin' Nipex uh, pliers wrenches, the little ones. They make a smaller version, but these are about right. Uh, then this thing, Motion Pro. Honestly, guys, this thing's rad. Again, you can get this at Rocky Mountain. This thing is so cool. It's got eight, 10, and 12, but then it's got Allens underneath each one of those in different sizes, it's really sweet. Uh, I got a 13 wrench right there and a flat blade for adjusting. Um, Clickers, got trash zip tie, I uh, got a rag that needs to be washed for goggles. And then one of the things, guys, that the Gen 2 came with that the Gen 1 did not is a kind of a secret pocket right there. Uh, and I don't use it on that side, but on this side, I got my cash. So I'm going to pull that out so I don't forget it. <laughs> uh, and then this side, guys, honestly, I run empty most of the time. I used to put my car keys in here. Uh, when I'm running a um, helmet camera with different batteries, I put my used batteries in here, keep the good batteries in here so I you know, keep them organized. But, yeah, 
that guys is how I run my wolf pack. I will, I can, I feel like I can honestly say I will never run another kind of pack. Uh, I'm never going to try climb. Those guys piss me off to be honest. Uh, in fact, they wouldn't talk to me. Wouldn't tell me why I lost my deal with them. Again, I don't really care that I lost the deal with them. I care that they wouldn't like, they just ghosted me. That's super unprofessional. Just let me know what you didn't like so I can grow and be better. That's all I ask. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that. So yeah, this thing, I'm going to take it home and wash it tonight. Uh, and then I don't know, I'll probably give it to someone, uh, someone in my family. I'm not going to let go of it because I can't let it go. of it. <laughs> it's too good. Obviously I don't let go. I kept the other ones. Maybe I'll give it to one of my kids and then one of theirs can go to one of their friends. Actually, that'd be a good idea. Maybe that's what I'll do. Give this to one of my boys, take one of the old Gen 1s, and give that to a kid that needs something. So, anyway, Wolf Enduro, you guys are rad. Everybody should wear one of those packs. They really are the best. Now, if they don't fit you, because I've had guys like huge dudes. Like, so my good friend Brady Metter, he's a very large man. Uh, he's probably 6'2, 6'3, 350 pounds. They don't fit him. <laughs> They, they just don't get big enough. Uh, but I've got friends that are like 250 to almost 300 pounds in like, you know, six foot-ish range. And they do fit those guys. So, uh, you know, they're fully extended as big as they get. But um, so they fit a very big uh, variety of humans. This one was not as adjustable. That's the other thing that the Gen 2 solved was that they got way more adjustable. So uh, I guess if you're bigger than that and you really want a wolf vest, my advice would be lose some weight. <laughs> I say that because I need to lose weight and get thinner and get in better shape. So anyway, guys, one more look at the sexy new color. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Wolf Enduro. You guys are my favorites. I really, really appreciate all the help, all the support. I'm going to be running one of those things in Baja. Um, probably not while I'm racing, although I might. I don't know. But I'm going to be definitely running it pre-running uh, and... I actually, I might wear racing because like, it's not a sprint race. I don't really need all the free motion, all that stuff. I just need, um, to carry the important things. So, uh, but anyway, I love it. My kid wears his racing all the time. Like that's his hydration pack and everything. He just feels comfortable with it. He tells me, he's like, dad, I don't feel right without my wolf vest on. So I love them. I think you guys should buy one. Go to wolfenduro.com. I don't make any money on that. I don't need to make any money on it. Those guys are rad. I want you to support them. Uh, but if you want to fill it with stuff, go to our Rocky Mountain ATV MC link in the description below. Click on that sucker and buy some parts and tools to put in your wolf pack. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you would carry uh, that I don't carry. Uh, or let me know if there's something that I carry that you're like, oh man, I need to put that in my pack. That'd be cool. I love you guys. We'll see you on the next one.